Good morning, everyone. Um, ooh, okay. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to vlog week day three. Update on the microneedling. If you guys didn't watch yesterday's vlog, I got microneedling done. So if my face is red, like right here, they went deeper on the scars that I have on my forehead. Um, if you guys know where those are from, comment down below because I feel like I haven't told that story in so long. Anyways, it's 9 a.m. I've just been hanging out with the pups and doing some work. Um, oh my gosh. Fitz, you were just the cutest thing I've ever seen. He's about to go get a bath because he needs one really bad. So I'm going to drop him off at the groomers. Before that, I'm going to get Starbucks. I just have been really on like a Starbucks kick this week, which I haven't really been on in the past few months. So I think it's because it's fall, you know? I am so sore right now. Like you would think that I've never worked out before. I'm just so sore. Wow, my house is literally a zoo at this point. Um, I'm wearing this sweat set from Quincy and Candace. It's their merch and they sent it to me, which is so sweet of them. They're the sweetest girls. And it is like so comfortable. Okay, we're in the Starbucks drive-thru. He's so cute. Um, for those of you haters who are gonna say something about how Coco's not getting groomed today. Coco doesn't ever go to the groomer unless she's getting groomed. I bathe her myself. He needs to get bathed, turns out, frequently. And because he's so big, he actually is really easy to give a bath to. I'm also just trying to get him used to going in to get like the groomers and stuff. So right now, we are taking him. So that's why he's going and Coco isn't going. Buy a Starbucks drink. I'm gonna get my favorite um, Starbucks fall drink. I'll show it to you guys. Guys, I do not know what it is, but anytime I'm in this specific drive-thru, I mess up my order like 15 times. It is so embarrassing. I cannot get over how sore I am. Also, I'm um, test driving cars today, hopefully. I'm gonna start car shopping, which I'm, well, I've started online, but I need to test drive cars to see what I want. I'm between a few different cars. I didn't get him a puppuccino. <gasps> Maybe I can ask for one. Thank you. Fitz, there you go, boy. Thank you. Thank you, have a good day. Woo, I got my iced chai with pumpkin cream cold brew. It is so good. Woo! Before I forget, guys, um, at the med spa that I went to, that's where I got my Botox, that's where I got microneedling, I do have a discount code. This was in yesterday's vlog. Um, it, this is not like sponsor or anything. I just wanted to let you guys know. It's Kinsey 20. So it's I am med spa in Snyder's Plaza. And I got Botox in my forehead. Of, two months ago probably and then microneedling which I'm actually like really impressed with already so unfortunately my brushes are gone both of them just completely have disappeared would love to know some updates on their whereabouts checked every area of my house very confused the groomer just called me so I can go pick up Fitz. I'm recording with Brooke in like two hours. Guys, I just, ugh, I don't know what it is. Like, I just can't really focus today. I did have some phone calls just now and stuff that were like exciting and I was, you know, doing things. But like, I just can't like, I don't know what's up today. I think I'm just really excited to go car shopping and I just got lip balm all over me. This tank is Princess Polly. This jacket is H&M. I'll link this all below. I'm wearing my old Yeezys that I'm glad I never got rid of. They are kind of trash. I rarely wear them anymore. I used to wear them all the time, but they're really comfortable. And then my new favorite bag, which I believe is pronounced Poland, Pauline. I'm so sorry, I can't remember how to pronounce the brand. Actually, not even I can't remember. I just have actually never known, but it's super cute. I think it's really fun, you know? So, off to pick up the pup. Very, very exciting things happening here. Look at how handsome Fitz is. Oh my gosh. You are so handsome. I love the bandana action we have going on. You always look so funny. Like, he just got a blowout. Um, I picked up, finally, my dry cleaning as well for my parachute home 
Juve. Whew. Okay, guys. I just like cannot focus today. I really just cannot focus today. So I'm gonna go home, focus. Time for me to pick my kombucha for the day. I'm almost completely out of booch pop. Um, maybe I'll do the happy one. I love health aid, it's my fave. Alright, so this is it right now. What pillow should I get for my bed, guys? I seriously, since moving out, have never even, like, what is wrong with me? What is happening right now is very, very huge. I'm finally ordering all new lighting for my house, which is exciting. I'm, like, thinking, do I, no, I guess I only need two fans. This is a really big deal. Also, it's on sale right now. This would originally cost $1,400, and I'm getting it for $400. So it's like a big sale. We'll get back with the official uh, measurements soon, guys. But <laughs> we are very excited. We, how, how did you feel about this book, The Vanishing Half by Brett Bennett? I really liked it. I think it took a little while for me to get really into it. It always does for books, you know? All right, everyone. I just finished recording with Brooke. We recorded for an hour which is way longer than normal, but we were just having such good conversation and I really enjoyed this episode of the book club. If you guys didn't read, honestly, it's still, it talks a lot about like race and all these things, which I didn't even know, like you guys just requested the book and then we picked it and read it and I really, really enjoyed it. It's so good. The Vanishing Cafe by Britt Bennett, it's a big book right now, so I'm sure you guys have probably seen it around, but Anyways, um, I am about to take the dogs out really quick and then I'm going to meet my dad at the dealership because I refuse to go to a car dealership without my dad. Um, way too terrifying. I'm just test driving cars today. I don't know the timeline for when I'm going to buy one, hopefully sooner rather than later, but I want to actually test drive and see like what I really want because like you don't really know until you drive it you know so I'm packing my bag up. I'm really cozy today even though it's not that cold out. All right guys, I am on my way right now to look at cars i am looking at um like a range rover a mercedes an audi i don't know actually exactly what i'm looking at i just want to just kind of test drive some see which one i really really like i have an idea of cars that i like but obviously like you don't know until you drive it i'm not really like set i keep saying range rover but i think it's just because it's a range rover and i'm being annoying we okay sorry my storage filled up but i just want to say i am looking at like nicer cars keep in mind i will be buying it used i'll be buying it a few years old um and i'm going to not be getting like i'm not getting a one hundred thousand dollar range rover with that being said i am like so grateful for you guys i've been working since i was 14. it's almost 10 years i've had my youtube channel since i was 16 but I'm more importantly than even being able to like make a purchase. I'm just so grateful that you guys have allowed me to have like my dream career and I just love you guys so much and thank you so much. So I will be looking at cars today. I thought originally I was just not gonna say anything and not post, but I feel like I shared too much of my life and like honestly, these videos are helpful for me right now. I don't know. So if you guys don't care and don't wanna see and feel like it's annoying, I don't, I don't mean this in a braggy way, literally at all, um, but let me know, um, but I just love you guys so much and I'm very, very grateful, but now I have my dad here with me because I'm way too afraid to do this stuff by myself and I think I'm gonna get taken advantage of. Yeah, I like this interior better. all these modes it drives so smooth okay we're at the third dealership so far I like the Range Rover the bus like I think the Mercedes my dad liked the Mercedes better I'm just gonna stand here so this guy thinks that I'm talking to someone else my dad likes the Mercedes better I like the Range Rover better the Range Rover on the inside I just felt like was more me the Evoque than the inside of the Mercedes. I don't know what it is. Like, I like them, but I just don't see myself driving one. I don't know why. Bring me the Model Q3, please. Mm -hmm. the third. Um, <laughs> they, uh, they have 
Oh, I like the interior a lot. Like the color. I don't know why I went to the passenger side, but. I do like that thing. But we have Audis in my family and I'm not like obsessed with them. I don't know why, I just don't really like driving them. So I finished shopping for cars and I actually did end up way preferring the Range Rover. This sounds so annoying, I'm so sorry guys. Um, I did prefer the first car, um, which I wasn't expecting. I thought for sure it was gonna be just like a name thing and then I would look at the other cars and like how they drove better or whatever. And I don't know, like there's something, I really liked the Mercedes, it's a great car. Something about it is just like not me. And then I really like the Audi, I just didn't really like. My We have that and then obviously BMW a lot in my family and I love my car and I've loved all of our BMWs, but I don't know why. I just don't like driving the Audi, but I like, I appreciate the car. Anyways, I have not even like considered leasing a car because my dad is like so anti-leasing cars, God forbid. So that wasn't even like, on the table as an option for me because I, I literally listen to everything that my dad says like even if I disagree I'm gonna do what my dad told me to do so but I think that's also an option right now so anyways we will see what happens we obviously I need to talk to like my car insurance people see what that will be before I make any decisions I actually don't I think it could be sooner rather than later but I'm not in any rush I think it just if it like works out and if I decide to lease just because in the stage that I'm in in life, it kind of makes the most sense, especially with like everything that's going on in my life with like who knows where I'll be in a year. Not like location wise necessarily, but just like who knows life wise where I'll be. So I'm not really sure yet, but I did really like the Range Rover Evoque the best. That's the smallest model. So it's the cheapest model they have conveniently, right guys? That's actually just the one that I liked. So worked out for me. I'm excited to just have a car that's like a mid-size SUV. I really need to get a new car anyway. I don't need to get a new car, but it was just something I always wanted to like do for myself as like a grad present to myself for like graduating college. And I'm really lucky to be in the position that I'm in. Like I'm so grateful for you guys. And I'm also so grateful that I ended up not going to an expensive school where I'd have like student loans and all of that. Like 100% at the school that I wanted to go to, I was so stubborn, would have been a $50,000 a year school. I would have just like made it happen somehow and been in so much debt, but thank God I actually never wanted to go to an expensive school and the one I ended up going to was so inexpensive. So that's another thing too that honestly was just luck that I ended up wanting to go to a cheap school because I would have been in debt. It's not like my parents would have paid for it. Um, so I'm just grateful for that. I, I've talked about that a few times, but if you guys are like looking in to colleges right now or whatever, are any of you guys in high school watching these vlogs? I feel like most people are not. Um, just from like my point of view now, being out almost out of college and a lot of my friends like would have graduated just this spring and I'm graduating a semester late, just hearing their experiences with like student loans and debt and my friends were a little bit older than me, like definitely really, really, really consider not going to a super expensive school um, unless your parents are paying for it. But if you have to pay for it and you um, are going to go into debt, as someone who's very stubborn, if I want to do something, I'm going to do it. Um, definitely just like rethink that because at the end of the day, and not that I'm here to like give college advice really, well, I guess I could give college advice, but not that I'm here to like tell you what to do with your life. I'm just telling you that students debt and loans like suck so bad. So if you can go to a cheaper school, you are setting yourself up for success. Anyways, yeah, I'm just really grateful and I just love you guys so much and I don't want this to come off as like braggy or annoying that I'm like looking at Range Rover Mercedes. Like I know what it sounds like and I hate that, but also I just, I don't know, I just, like I said, I wasn't gonna vlog this and I wasn't even gonna share it. I guess you guys would have seen it in the background of vlogs. However, um, I don't know, I just share so much with you guys and I love vlogging and like sharing life experiences and blah blah blah. So I just didn't think it would be that big of a deal um, to share in this vlog, but I love you guys. I'm so grateful for you guys that I even 
one obviously I can like save to afford a car but also that I even have a career that I love to do because of you guys so I love you thank you guys so much for watching my videos listening to the podcast and all that stuff H&M was having a really great sale earlier this week I did pay for shipping to I got a new bone, but I'm gonna get it. I am really excited about the stuff that I got though. Um, I was really impressed with what I saw in store recently. Oh, I forgot I even got those pants. Oh my gosh, how do I forget what I actually ordered? Like, I get if I forget if I'm picking things out for a haul from a company. I paid for this, some issues. I just got this white blouse, because I don't have just like a solid white blouse, and this will go under like sweater vest that I don't have yet, but I want to get. Wearing a matching pajama set to bed every night is just like what makes me me, you know? Love, 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 love. This is so cute. And then the matching bottoms. I never did polka dot, but I was into these colors, so I will be wearing these tonight. All this stuff was really like reasonably priced. I'm actually so impressed by H&M. So I will link everything down below, and I also got it for 20% off. I don't think the sale is still happening, but these are, oh my gosh, the quality of these is amazing. So these pants were originally, it doesn't say, but... I've really needed just some nice like trousers, if you will. Um, and I really love these. If I love the fit, I might try to get them in other colors because the quality is really impressive. I also just went outside and took photos of my outfit. Fully on self timer and like three people saw me and I just don't care. Oh wait, did I get the vest? Oh no, I didn't. I got this sweater that I thought was just good to have and I've seen people like tuck it up and stuff and make it cute, but this would be cute to wear with coats. Because then it looks like I'm wearing more than I am, you know what I mean? But the layer, this would still be cute over the blouse, things like that. Trendy, not really the vest I'm looking for, but I had a vision for this. Jacket, and I thought I forgot to add it to my cart, so I'm glad to see it's here. I just think it's so cute. I got this in a size medium, probably. Yeah, a medium. Just this neutral, like, puffer jacket. Guys, that is just so cute. And then, this one is the real kicker. I thought this was so fun. It's not like a coat coat, but it, it's in the middle it's not a jacket either you know what i'm saying it almost looks like a button down it's better unbuttoned but i just thought that was so fun so love that and then last but not least i got a black baseball cap from amazon just because i want to start wearing hats more i think they're really cute and i had one before it went missing like i don't know if i honestly i could have seen it gone missing on my rooftop somewhere because that's where i was wearing it and i feel like it just flew off or something <laughs> I've changed it to my pajamas as you guys saw I've been on the phone with Sav literally for an hour and a half I was on the rooftop took the dogs on actually well a walk earlier that you guys didn't see and then I took them on a walk just now in my pajamas it's fine um but this soup is so good if you guys want the recipe it's on my Instagram I made it a few days ago and it's bomb so I'm excited I'm finishing this soup so I will cook a new meal tomorrow I am so excited because I'm gonna have new lights here very, very soon. I actually think that these lights are gonna take like 30 days to come in. So that's not great. This lighting is also not good. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Um, I'm really excited about a new car potentially. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow for vlog week day four. I almost said vlogmas. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon. Bye.